That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm the best. Best in the biz now. Hi, I'm Henry Swanson. And I'm Cash Workman. Welcome to our first Front and Central show of 2021. It's been a couple months since you've seen us here at Front and Central, but we're back just in time for the start of the school year. Last week, the school held its first pep assembly in over a year, and Front and Central's got it on camera. Let's check it out. The first pep assembly of the year included a speech from veteran and Central High parent Mr. Noise, a rendition of the fight song from Central's own band, and a race between Troji and some other fun opponents. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, there were ponies involved. Raining Liberty Ranch, the nonprofit receiving the funds from the big game, brought along two special friends to show their Trojan pride. You could say they were the main attraction. Looks like school spirit was really on full display. It really was. And did you not laugh at the horse pun? No, sorry. The Trojans varsity football team took on TC West in the 10th annual Patriot game. Needless to say, the game did not go as planned for the Titans. The pregame activities really showed some cross-town unity to honor veterans and first responders in the community. But after the kickoff, the Trojans took the lead right away. The Titans tried to hang on, but by the second half, it was all central. Scoring touchdowns for the Trojans were Josh Klug, Carson Bordeaux, and Josh Byrne. The final score was 42-14 Trojans. Good work to the entire team. Wait a minute, did you hear the horse pun? I did. And you did no reaction? Uh, I just didn't think it was that funny, Henry. Okay, never mind. Well, football is definitely back in session, and so is the school year for the rest of the Trojan community. Things are really moving now this school year, and our front and central team members, Liv Lemke and Ella Cabbage, met up with some students to see how their year is going so far. This is Olivia Lemke reporting for Front and Central. I'm here with Quinn Noyes. Quinn, how has the school year been for you so far? The school year this far, so far has been pretty good. Um, I like my classes and teachers. I'm here with Addie Brewer right now. Addie, how's the school year been for you so far? Um, it's been good, pretty uneventful, but I really like all like the student sections and stuff, and I'm excited for homecoming. Hi, I'm Ella Cabbage. I'm interviewing Alex Ricardo for Front and Central. How's your school year been so far this year? It's been pretty good. I'm here with Eli Kremendike. Eli, what's your favorite class so far? Uh, probably the class I'm in right now, uh, Metals and Jewelry. What are you most excited for this year? Um, making new friends and doing as best as I can in all my classes. I'm excited just to have a normal year, like as normal as we can get with like homecoming and student sections and yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> Sports, I'm looking forward to football and track. What classes are you most interested in so far? Um, I really like AP World. I, I just like history. Um, I like my sculpture class and my weights and conditioning class. They're both pretty fun. Who's your favorite teacher so far this year? Uh, Mr. Stubani. He's a cool guy. Awesome. Uh, Mr. Florenza, for sure. I think he's a really good teacher. Mr. Purdy, because he's pretty cool. Uh, Miss Howard. Why? Uh, she's full of energy, and for my first hour, that's, that's what I need. By the way, how's your school year going so far, Henry? It's been pretty good. I only feel about half of my classes so far. Well, maybe you should go to the library and study some more. I probably should. Well, it looks like Front and Central team member Lucas Schwalm actually put together a great piece on the Central High School Library and all it has to offer. Let's check it out. My name is Lucas Schwalm, reporting for Front and Central. And today, we talked to Ms. Van Der Zee and a couple of students to see what they liked here at the Central High School Library. Uh, I think that there are lots of reasons why students come to the library. I think it's a nice space. I think it's a very welcoming space. We have a lot of students doing their college classes or their online classes here. And then we have some students that just like to hang out. I mean, it's a great place, but all in all, I only come here to hang out and chill out with Ms. Vanderzee. I spend a lot of time in the library, mostly because I'm in Writing Studio, the coolest place ever. Um, we have candy. We help kids with their papers. It's a great time. So if you're watching and you're not in it, shame on you. Please join. I think there are a lot of ways that the library staff help out students. We can help with research um, stuff. We help with finding books. I help a lot with college applications with the seniors. And um, there are just other ways, too, if a student is feel feeling frustrated or stressed about stuff, um, we all can help with that as well. So if you have some free time, come on down to the library. Whether you're a freshman looking for a nice book to relax with, or a senior looking for help on your college application, it's the perfect place. Wow, I really need to go to the library. Luckily, it's right outside the studio. Sadly, you are correct. Well, that wraps up the first episode of Season 10 of Front and Central. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for updates and other content this year. 
And to send us off, we have some footage of the Bay from front and center crew member Aiden Watson. Thanks for watching.